Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson in my piano course for beginners level two. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in getting the accompanying method book for this course, there's going to be links for that below. And I also offer online piano lessons. If you're looking for one, there's going to be information below. In this lesson, we're going to learn about the final concept in level two, which is triplets. Triplets are very interesting because we can't really count them in a standard way. There is a way to count them out, but it's a little bit complicated. If we are in um, two, four, three, four, or four, four time signature, and we have a crotchet, that crotchet or beat is going to divide into two equal quavers. So a quarter note is going to divide into two equal eighth notes. But what happens if we want to play three quavers or eighth notes in one beat? Now, if I add up the three quavers, that would add up to one and a half beats because each is a half. So half plus half plus half is one and a half. So the only way to play three notes in one beat is to make all of them shorter, so one third of the beat. And that's exactly what a triplet sign does. So if you have three quavers and you put a little three above them, that's going to squeeze those three notes into one beat. So you're going to play three triplet quavers in the time of two regular quavers. Now let's try to get our heads around this concept and then we'll talk a little bit more about triplets because it's not quite as simple. On the screen now, you see this example where you see in the right hand treble clef staff a crotchet beat and in the bottom you see two quavers in the first beat and three triplet quavers in the second beat. So that shows you that the two groups have to occupy the same amount of time, the same amount of beats. So let's uh, try to click a constant pulse or do it on the piano. One, two, one, two. And first, let's play regular quavers or eighth notes in those beats. So two notes. Let's pick any note. I'm going to pick a C and let's play two notes for each click. So one, two, one, two. So that's our traditional regular quavers, two played in one beat. Now let's play the triplet quavers, which is going to be three equal notes in one beat. So the pulse stays the same, one, two, but we're going to play three equal notes. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you can see these quavers go much faster if the beat is the same speed. Now there are certain words you can say for the regular quavers, you can say one and two and one and two and, or you can say T, 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 T. For the triplets, you can say any word which has three syllables. The traditional Kadai version is triola. So triola, 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 triola. Or you can say blueberry or chocolate, blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. And anything that has three equal syllables is going to work with the triplets. So these were the two kinds of quavers played after each other, the regular and the triplet quavers. Now the problem comes when you have alternating quavers after each other, like in the example here. So one beat is going to be regular quavers, the second beat is triplets, because the feel is very different. One feels like a dance, a triple time, and the other one feels regular time. So our body has to very quickly adjust to the new feel of the rhythm. So let's try that, those four beats, and we're gonna go the same pulse, one, two, three, four. One and da 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 tum bum ba 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 bum bum. And that's how they come after each other, the regular quavers and the triplet quavers. Now it's really important to understand that the triplet sign doesn't only apply to quavers. You can use the triplet sign on any note value and it's always going to put three of those note values into the time of two. So in the second example there, you can see that we added the brackets to three crotchets or quarter notes and the little three or a triplet sign. And that means that each of these crotchets is going to be less than a beat now. And we're going to play three of them in the time of a minimum or a half note. So they have to squeeze 
into the space of two regular crotches or regular quarter notes. And this applies to semiquavers, um, minims, any kind of notes, you can add a triplet sign to them. And that's why I said the definition for three notes played in the time of two is the best one that I, I usually use because it makes you understand that it can be any kind of three notes and the triplet sign is going to make them as long as two of those without the triplet sign. As you can see in this example here, not all notes have beams. Quavers have beams, so a long line connecting the notes, but crotchets don't have beams and minims don't have beams. In this case, we have to add a bracket over the three notes which belong to the triplet, so we know which notes are to be played as a triplet. Now, here's another example in the bottom, just to complicate this even more. And here you can see that a triplet is not necessarily made up of just notes. It could be notes and rests too. So you could, instead of three quavers, you could have a quaver, a quaver rest and a quaver note, or you could have, uh, you know, a rest, a note and a rest. So it's not necessarily notes, but if you have rests, the rests have to be counted like they were the triplet notes. Here is this example now, let's try to clap it. So we're going to say blueberry for all of those triplets. Blueberry, 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 blueberry. And I opened my hand when there was a rest. So I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into what triplets are. It's quite difficult to, to understand just from the concept, but in the next few lessons, we're going to learn a few pieces which incorporate triplets in simple forms. Now, once we get to higher levels, you will see that triplets sometimes can actually be two notes. You could have a crotchet and the quaver connected by a triplet sign, because technically those two notes still make up three quavers, even though one of them is a crotchet, but more on that later.